Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm interrupting my normal two week upload schedule for this guy right here, the 2022, three, whatever, Marucci Echo Diamond. <clears throat> I was gonna wait and do my normal two week upload with this guy, but you guys just would not let me. I've got messages every day for the last couple of weeks about this, and I've been trying to get it scheduled uh, with a couple of different girls to try to, to shoot the video with this thing, and it just kept falling through for the last two weeks. And I've had it for a few weeks. Unfortunately, the day that I that I got it, my daughter sprained her ankle really bad, so I wasn't able to get her swinging it and get it broke in. Normally, wouldn't be a big deal. I would just you know get somebody else to break it in and we'd shoot the video with it. But she has been. Uh, long anticipating the arrival of this thing and there was no way she was gonna let somebody else swing it before her so i had to wait till she could get healed up enough so she could start, start taking some hacks with it and get it broke in and um over the last i think week and a half she's probably got probably five six hundred cuts with it um just here and there because she is still healing up so she can only take kind of so many cuts at a time but we did get it broke in finally and, you know, I've had so many people messaging me about the bat, wanting to know what I thought. People want to know if they should get the red and black one. Should they get this one? Because since they came out with this one and places are just blowing out that red and black bat. And I've heard of people getting them for 120, 140 bucks. Now, I will go ahead and start with saying if you can get that red and black bat for 120 to 140 bucks, you are a fool if you do not buy it. That thing is fire. Now, that being said, if you want the diamond, that's what we're going to find out today. Is it, uh, I don't know that we can say if it's definitively better or not with the amount of cuts that we've got on it, but we can sure enough get a good idea for what it's bringing to the table. She does have enough cuts on it with that. And uh, there's definitely, I don't know if there's anybody better in the country to uh, give a comparison or what she thinks about this bat um, because she is so accustomed to swinging Marucci bats. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's go uh, meet and talk to Emmy. All right, so here we are. We got my daughter, Emmy. She's gonna be helping me out today. Uh, notice she doesn't do a lot of my videos with me uh, anymore because she really doesn't like doing them and that would be way too convenient for me if she did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, uh, you're not you're not gonna find uh, somebody who's gonna be more critical of this bat than her because nobody, there ain't anybody who loves that red and black Marucci Echo more than this kid does. She will pick that bat up over anything, anytime. Uh, so. Uh, I think she'll definitely give this thing a good uh, good once over and let us know what she thinks one way or the other. So uh, uh, what do you think? You think it's going to outperform? You think it's going to do as well, better, not as good? I hope it's going to do better because, you know, I have high hopes for it. So I have high hopes as well. So uh, we'll see. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, we're going to go get these cuts in and uh, we'll see what she thinks. Oh, um, it is worth mentioning. She has been nursing a sprained ankle for the last couple weeks. Bug just fell on me. <laughs> She has been nursing a sprained ankle for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so she's not going to be quite 100%, but we're going to get these hacks in and uh, she can 100% tell us what she thinks anyway. So yep. uh, now let's go get these hacks in. Let's go. So we are back with uh, Emmy after her 10 hacks. So after your 10 cuts, what do you think? I think it's very comparable to my red and black bat, but I do think that my red and black bat is honestly heavier than this. This is a very balanced bat and it's balanced very well. Like it's, it's very light compared to the black and red one which the black and red one is very balanced, but this one is lighter in my opinion. Um, the grip's nice. It has a very long sweet spot. So if you hit it anywhere, I feel like it'll go. It has a pretty nice crack to it whenever you hit it and it doesn't ring through your hands like at all. If you hit a miss ball, you can't even tell through your hands. Nice, nice. Um, so nothing huge jumping out there you covered you feel like it definitely has a long sweet spot um on miss hits you could tell it but you didn't get any hand sting yeah um you like the grip grip feels nice um i, don't know, I think you kind of covered it it's pretty good there a bonus is the color 
And yeah, but we're not big on red around here. It's not really our shade. So this golden white is great for us. Um, so uh, her average exit velocity with this bat was 66, 66.9 miles per hour with her high at 68 miles per hour. So uh, that definitely would uh, go along with what she says with it having a long barrel because even on her miss hits, the thing was still very, very consistent. And uh, I can definitely tell you, she miss hits a lot. Uh, she uses, she is your typical power hitter. She needs the whole barrel. She ain't hitting the same spot more than twice. I promise you that, um, which is also a part of it. She's not very good at hitting balls off a tee, which is you know part of why she doesn't like doing videos with me. <laughs> Nonetheless, so 68 for the high. I'm pretty happy with that, doing it on a, on a semi-sprained ankle. Um, I think it performed well. Uh, so... Which bat are you taking into battle right now? I mean, we got thousands of cuts with the red and black bat, obviously. Uh, this one is new, and it is still getting broke in. So, uh, but which one are you taking into battle right now? It's game day. It's it's bracket. Uh, mm. First game bracket. What are we hitting with? Um, Bracket, probably my red and black bat because that's like my safety blanket right now. But I will still use this bat in tournaments so I can, like, see how it performs and, like, you know what I mean? And which I'll probably soon switch over to this being the bat that I go with. So right now you just got to get out there and hit a couple nukes with it and that'll be it, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. All right. Well, thank you so much, kiddo. Uh, yep. We'll be back with just me, my pretty face, in uh, just a minute. Okay, okay. All right. So, definitely saw what Emmy's take was on that. And I'll be honest with you, after watching her hit with it in the cage and hit with it into the net, uh, I was really anxious to see what the exit velocity was going to be with this bat because uh, it looked it looked hot. Just you know, the eye test. You know, which I've, I've said a thousand times, the eye test is really not worth anything, but for what it's worth but it looked like the ball came off of it pretty well so i was excited to see what it looked like through the camera so i could actually see and you know looking at it i can tell you she hit balls from right here to right here i mean she uses the entire barrel of the bat like i said for a kid that can hit the way that she hits i don't y'all i don't know why that kid can't hit a ball off the tee to save her life um soft toss any of that, she'll absolutely split it, but she just is not great at hitting the ball off a of tee. And we do a lot of tee works. I don't know why that is, but whatever. But it's it's really good at the same time it, for this um, for this particular video because it helps to figure out how long is our sweet spot? What is the drop off up and down the barrel? Now, this video is definitely different than the others because it's not a comparison, it's just a review. Like I said earlier, I tried to set it up with a couple of different girls. I, I had one girl I was going to do it against the new Ghost Unlimited. It fell through. She ended up having to go to Georgia to go play ball. I had another girl set up. She wound up ended up playing a showcase this weekend. But I told several of you that I was going to get the, the video out last weekend. I told a bunch more of you that I was going to get it out this weekend. And I don't want to be a liar. So I, kn I knew I wanted to get out something. People were, were telling me that, hey, they were kind of waiting on what – to hear my opinion of the bat before they ordered one, which by the way, I am extremely humbled that you would think that highly of my opinion of the bat. Um, that man, that, 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 that's really something. Um, humbled is the, is the only word that I can think of that fits in that particular instance. So I hope I get you the information that you need to make the right decision here. That's, that's always my goal. Now, with all that being said, um, what do I think? I think it 100% she is right. It definitely has a long sweet spot. You're talking maybe, maybe one mile per hour difference between a ball hit here versus a ball hit dead, dead in the center. Ball hit here versus dead in the center, one mile per hour. Uh, as far as the feel of it, she's right. It is very, very, very balanced. I don't know that I think it feels lighter like she seemed to think, but it definitely is – uh, a very balanced bat. Um, I think it compares very, very similarly as far as, you know, weight to the red and black bat to the, the, the first echo. Um, I did notice that the knob on it, uh, is different on the end, uh, on the echo, the red and black bat, it had, I don't know, something different kind of made into the handle for some anti-vibration stuff. 
I don't see that in this one. It's actually got a really cool, I don't know if you can see that, kind of a clear end cap. And they wrote the, the size and weight of the mat inside that down there. So it's kind of like 3D looking. That's pretty cool. Uh, the grip, the grip is really, 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 really nice. It's actually got a nice little bit of padding on it, but it's super grippy. Um, I like that a lot. Um, colors, obviously awesome. As far as sound goes, I will say this one, some of you have talked to me before and I've told you about how you can hear when this bat breaks in uh, or the red and black bat, you could hear when it broke in. This bat is identical in that sense that you can hear it when it breaks in. The sound is very comparable to the black and red bat, but not, I wouldn't say, I, I wouldn't say it's identical, but very comparable. Now, what I mean by when the sound changes, the first couple cuts she took with this bat, I'd say the first 10 to 20 cuts, it would have had a very, very high pitch, kind of shrill, like a real a crack to it. I was like, oh, wow, that sounds, sounds very different. It sound hard, if you know what I mean. Like when you hit a hard surface, how it's got a real shrill crack to it, it sounded very, very hard. Uh, and I actually, I was a little nervous at first because I thought, oh man, that sounds like that's probably going to tear her hands up. She never said a word about it. She kept cranking. Then after 20 or so cuts, like I said, I'm going to I'm say around 20, all of a sudden you can hear that tone change. And, and, it, and it's a pretty dramatic difference in change. You know it when it breaks in. There's when it starts to break in. There, there's, there's no doubt about it. Um, we broke this one in the same as every other bat. You, you, you take a you take a cut with it, you rotate. You take a cut, you rotate. Take a cut, you rotate. Um, did the same thing as always. Like I said, you could hear it break in. Now Marucci is uh, they're a little different than most manufacturers. Uh, I've said this before to some people that I think De Marini. I know De Marini has done it before, where they do what uh, in motorcycles what we used to call the bold new graphics. They just reintroduce the same stupid motorcycle, but they put a different graphics kit on it and call it the, the brand new year model, and it's the same stinking bike. I know De Marini's done that with the Prism for several years. They just change the colors on it, change the style. Maybe they say Prism Plus over Prism, but same bat. Um, I know some of the others definitely do it from what I've seen. I, I really feel like Easton has done that with the, the Ghost Advance the last couple of years. Um, Marucci normally, uh, generally, they are on a two-year cycle, and in two years, they come out with a completely brand new bat. I expected this to be a completely brand new bat, which made me that much more excited because uh, the red and black bat uh, to us really felt like such a great bat. So I was excited to see how they improved upon that. Is this bat a brand new bat? Ah, I don't know. Really, it does sound a little different. Uh, it does feel balanced the same way. I do think the knob is different. Um, I don't know. It, I'm not going to say it's it's the exact same bat, but I'm going to say it's very comparable. I'm going to say they tweaked it some, just because the sound is different. And I don't know. I know that I know that bat companies can change what type of composite they use, how they weave it, uh, things like that, and that will affect the sound. It will affect the trampoline effect and things like that. So I, I can't sit here and confidently tell you this is a brand new bat. It's all new. They've never made one like this. I, I can't sit here and say that because. It is very similar in a great many ways to the black and to the black and red bat. Now, our black and red bat, like I said, thousands and thousands of cuts uh, on that bat, um, and uh, um, it's lasted and it's held up good. This thing out of the box with no more cuts than it has, like I said, I don't know, five six hundred cuts maybe. Um, if it seems pretty hot, you know, right out of the wrapper there, you know, hitting sixty eight with an injured player, uh, I think. I think that bodes well for it. And like I said, also the fact that it's hot all the way up and down the barrel, I, that, I, I think that's, I think that's also uh, says a lot for it. Um, the price point right now, it is a little bit more expensive than uh, the red and black one piece was when it was new. That may come down a bit. Uh, I'm not sure what the two piece version, uh, I'm not sure what the price point is on it. I haven't looked that up, um, but this one, definitely worth the price. If you're in the market for a new bat, I would definitely say um, power hitter, contact hitter. I think it's going to work well for either. I think for me, I would think power hitters would absolutely love this bat. That big, long, sweet spot, they're going to be able to really just absolutely smoke the ball no matter where they hit it on the barrel. Hey, almost kind of like a cheat code, really. Um, I think that, you know, if if a player's looking for a really inloaded bat, if they just really like an inloaded bat, 
don't know that they'll like it because it is very, very balanced. Um, it's going to require you to bring it through the hitting zone and create your own bat speed. Um, whereas if you've got a, a smaller player that hits for power, they might not benefit as much because they're not going to get the whip out of it and that they're not going to get that end load to help them build speed through the hitting zone. Um, all that being said, um, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to got some videos coming up. I'm going to work in the next couple of days on setting up something for next weekend. I definitely want to want to do a direct comparison of this bat against the red and black uh, last year's Echo. I definitely am going to do a comparison of it against the Ghost Unlimited. And if there's any other bats that you'd like to see me compare this one to, definitely comment. Let me know. Uh, I have heard y'all. I know you want the LXT. I need to find a used one. I have got a ton of bats right now. Um, I, I've got to, um, <laughs> I really need to sell a few, to be honest with you. Um, but I do like keeping them around so I can make more comparisons against more bats for y'all. But the LXT, it is coming. I am going to get one. We will get it done. And many, many more coming. For those of you that listened and responded to the last video, thank you so, so very much. The channel hit the milestone. We got that thousand subs. Um, that was a moment three years in the making for me. Uh, I never dreamed it would take that long to do something as simple as get a thousand subs. I figure you just make videos, people would click the button. It's free, but a lot of people don't. I don't know why, but they don't. Like literally, uh, I average several thousand views per bat video and 97% of you do not subscribe. I have no idea why. It's absolutely free. Help a brother out. Hit the little button for me. Click that subscribe. Comment. Say, hey, man, helped you out through your sub. I appreciate it. I will certainly, I will respond. I try to respond to every single comment that people make. And uh, I really appreciate the interaction with everybody. So like I said, hopefully the next one coming up, uh, got, well, I got several coming up. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. I got to see who I can get with to get it filmed. So y'all just going to have to subscribe and uh, click the little notification bell. That way you get notified as soon as I post it up. So thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.